Today we're going to change the anti-vibration or AV spring on the steel TS410 cutoff saw. First of all use a Torx fanner to remove the screw that secures the water connector from the underside of the machine. This will provide better access to the recoil. Next use a 19mm hex socket spanner turning it anti-clockwise to loosen the tension of the belt. Once this is done use a 30mm hex socket spanner to loosen the three nuts that secure the recoil assembly. Then revisit each nut and completely remove them, freeing the recoil from the machine. Using the torque spanner, remove the screw that secures the nose guard to the arm. Once the nose guard is off, use a 19mm hex socket spanner, turning it anti-clockwise to further loosen the tension of the belt. Completely remove the front of the saw to free the belt. Using the torque spanner, remove the screw which holds the AV spring clamp in place. Once again, using the torque spanner to remove the three screws which hold the muffler in place. Remove the top cover to provide access later on. Using the torque spanner, remove the four screws that secure the air filter cover located at the back of the machine. Now remove the paper and gauze filters. To remove the shroud, use a torque spanner to remove the two screws located near the fuel cap. Disconnect the control rods. You may also want to remove the plug cover to make it easier to remove. You can now remove the AV spring by removing the torque screw on the inside of the spring. Locate your new AV spring in position and hand tighten the screw in place. Then return to tighten with the torque spanner. Locate and screw the clamp back in place to fix the spring in position. Secure the muffler in place using the three screws. Reconnect the control rods back into place. Now that's complete you can relocate the shroud. Make sure it is seated correctly and everything is contained and then secure with the torque screws. Then simply replace the gauze filter. The genuine gauze has a tab to indicate the correct way to fit it. Replace the paper air filter in with the mould surrounding the ducts and the filter positioned over the gauze filter. Place the casing back over the filter ensuring it is seated correctly before screwing. Make sure the cover is secure without over tightening, you don't want to split the plastic.
Relocate the top cover and screw it back on using the Torx spanner. To fit the belt, locate it over the clutch, making sure that it is sitting in the grooves correctly to prevent damage to the belt. Then feed the belt back through the arm, relocating the arm back into position around the studs. Slowly turning the pulley will help you easily feed the belt back around the pulley. Make sure the blade turns with a smooth motion. Relocate the casing onto the arm and use a torque spanner to fix this in place. Make sure the screw is secure without over tightening it, as the casing is only plastic. Locate the recoil assembly onto the machine, loosely turn each nut a few times. Then return to tighten each nut with a 13mm spanner again. Be careful not to split the plastic when tightening. Then retension the belt using the 19mm hex socket spanner. Don't forget to fix the water connector back into place under the machine using the torque spanner. That's how you change the AV spring on a Steel TS410. All the parts and tools needed for the task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.